You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Tonight, the CN100 Game of the Week comes to you from the far northern suburbs. We're in Grays Lake for a Northern Lake County Conference battle between the Lakes Eagles and the Rams from Grays Lake Central. And hi again, everybody, and welcome to week eight of the high school football season. A nice crisp evening here. I'm Dave Bernhard, joined alongside by Mark Lindo. We'll hear from Lauren Cox in just a bit. Well, how about this? Week number eight, and these two teams have come here, and they've come a long way. Lakes was 0-5 in the spring season. They lost their first game here in the fall, but yet here they are with the 5-2 record. Grays Lake Central, same, 5-2. Two. two years ago, the last full season of high school football, Grays Lake Central was 1-8, but yet they are two weeks away from entering the state playoffs. And why have they done it? Well, each of these teams can say they've done it with their offense. First of all, for Lakes. Now, Mark, I'm not going to say the Eagles are one-dimensional, but they definitely lean, lean in one direction. Hey, they love to pound the rock. They'll do so about 80% of the time. They want to maintain possession. They want to uh, get their stay in front of the sticks, and they want to move the ball on the ground. Well, for Grays Lake Central, we're going to see a little bit of everything from the Rams. Well, they'll go about 50-50 run and pass. They have a really good aerial attack, which is going to challenge the Lake secondary. This will be the ninth play of the drive. They had a 17-play drive last week, almost eight minutes of clock. And there's your 1,000 yards, there's your six points, and there is the lead for Lakes. Boy, you could have driven a, driven a truck through that hole as his offensive linemen love him to run behind him. Over 1,000 yards rushing, not many easier than that. That was a big gap, gaping hole in the offensive line. Watch this offensive line open things up. One cut back, and there's no green shirt in the screen. Tenth oh, touch out well on film. Tenth touchdown of the season for Mark Hunter. Degrees like Central. Over straight, looking for the corner. Hurdigan's got it! What a pass from Darrell Overstreet Jr. And Kurt Hernigan comes up big again and Grays Lake Central will retake the lead. Boy, you talk about a tall target and a well-thrown ball. Watch him just lay this up over the shoulder catch, inside or outside shoulder catch. Only the receiver, Hernigan, catch the ball. That's a great pass to keep the ball away from Matt Retina. Really nice job execution wise quarterback tight end combination for the TD sticking on the ground Al Hindi powers his way in he is the red zone runner he scores in the red zone and Lakes will stretch the lead 24 13 what a solid drive and again a short field right fourth down Grays Lake Central not able to convert. Lakes takes it right down the field, mixing pass and run. Two short drives, one to end the first half, and then this one the second half. Gotta love short fields. Al Hindi with a nice cutback himself. A really nice follow block of Mason Lambert. They're looking to go big, looking for Miller, right sideline, got it! Caden Miller, did he stay in bounds? Nope, they stepped out of bounds, but a great throw from Overstreet over the shoulder catch, down to the 15-yard line for Caden Miller. What a great job by Miller. Now that ball's thrown up by Overstreet, but look at Miller. Kind of looked like Willie Mays out there, over the shoulder, really did. Outside shoulder, he turns and catches that ball. What great presence of mind to stay with that football. That they put Hurdigan in the slot. That's, that's how about a tight end that go in the slot. They're looking his direction. They're looking deep, looking for Hurdigan. He's got it. <laughs> Hurdigan inside the 25 yard line. How about that? They take a 6 4 tight end. They put him out in the slot. They get the matchup they want, and he makes another nice catch on a well thrown ball. 47 yards to the tight end. No, I'm in the slot on this one. He just runs a vertical route. He goes. They watch him catch the ball at his highest point. Big time play. 149 yards on seven catches, two touchdowns, 
for the 6'3", 220-pound senior tight end, Kurt Hurdigan. To view this Xfinity program in its entirety, visit cn100.tv for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing Game of the Week. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local or simply say Get Local into your voice remote.